Now this is a story all about how my life got turned flip upside down and I invite you to take a minute, sit right there and bear with me till I'm done and let me share with you the most amazing story of how I got enrolled in conscious living number one. About 10 years ago, uh, I'm a filmmaker, a video maker and uh, I had wonderful projects going on but all my days were fully booked from morning till evening for the next six seven months and i thought to myself i really enjoy what i'm doing but it might be nice to have a break for a change and out of the blue all of a sudden all my clients started calling me to cancel their projects and i where i had a fully fully booked agenda for the next half year two days later all the jobs for the next two months were cancelled and i was like okay <laughs> this this is a bit too much <laughs> rest that i have what i'm gonna do the next two months and then i thought oh, but this is amazing man finally i can tell my own story i i've had 10 years of experience now i, I know how to tell a story how to make a video so let's tell my own story. What do I want to share with the world? And then I thought to myself, yeah, what do I want to share with the world? If I can make up or tell every story, what story do I want to tell? And I thought, yeah, but what's important to me? Who, I, who am I exactly? Fast rewind, when I was 15 years old, I had to go uh, through surgery, through a, a head surgery, and the doctors told me, yeah, it's gonna be very hard, and we are not exactly sure that you will make it. So you might, there's a chance, you might die in the process. I know it's hard to bear, but maybe it's a good time for you to um, say goodbye to your relative and friends. And that was such a shock to me. And then, and um, while I was thinking about my life, and a question came up for me. And the question was like, if I might die, who is it that is going to die? Who am I exactly? And all these things started coming up. All all the things I remembered. All a lot of characteristics about me but it was always about me I couldn't find the one the the I the I that's a witness of everything that was my near that experience but back now that I was thinking what do I want to tell I thought I don't know who, who this I is who, who am I I only could think of like things I loved I but who is this I who is witnessing everything? I thought, this is a story I want to tell. I'm going to travel around the world, meet people, and I'm going to look for who is I exactly. And then I thought, immediately thought, yeah, that, but then I have to like speak to a lot of people, travel a lot, read a lot, going through religions, philosophies, old cultures. This is going to take years and years, lifetimes maybe. I have to meet a guy, I have to meet somebody who done all this work and have to pick his mind, his or her mind. But anyway, back to the, back to the work, I still had to finish one job. And one job was uh, I had to make uh, interactive DVDs. But I needed to work on both Mac and PCs. And since I didn't have a PC, I needed to buy a PC or... Uh, lent one from from a friend and i thought yeah but like buying one just for this job maybe it's like i spent too much money and when i opened up my email account i saw a mail from this guy Geert in brussels who was selling his pc pc laptop for an extremely cheap price i thought this is amazing, man. This is what I needed. So I sent him a mail. Let's meet tomorrow in Brussels and I'll buy the thing. 
So I went to Brussels the next day and um, I went to this cafe and I came in and but I didn't see any Geert. But there was a guy sitting alone at a table with his laptop waving at me and shouting my name. And I was like, I don't know this guy. This is not the Geert that I knew. But anyway, I didn't want to admit it. So I started talking to him. He was the guy, but <laughs> definitely another gear that I had in mind. And we started talking and I bought a PC. And then he asked me, you're making videos. What, what are you into? And I said like, yeah, I'm working on this amazing, amazing project where I want to look for the essence of me, the I in me. And uh, now I'm looking for a guy or looking for somebody who can who's done all this research and so I can interview him. And he said, this is amazing. I said, what? I, I just came back from South Africa and I've, I've met su such a guy and I've done this amazing course. Um, it was founded by him. He's, he's, the guy is called Mark Steinberg. This is mind blowing, my friend. You, oh, this is exactly what you're looking for. I said, okay, yeah, I want to, I want to meet and interview the guy. He said, yeah, yeah, but you want to do the, his course first. I thought, no, 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 I don't want to do a course. I just want to meet and interview the guy. He said, yeah, okay, but you will regret it later. After you've spoken to him, you will regret that you didn't do the course. It's coming to Belgium for the first time. You ought to do it. And I said, Geert, you don't really know who I am, man. I'm, I'm like the most, most happy guy I've ever met. I don't need such a course. I think it's valuable, but I don't think it's anything for me. He said, I understand you, I understand you, and I invite you to do it anyway. It's mind-blowing. I, I, I couldn't imagine it, what, what happened there. I was like, okay, maybe. But let's set up an interview with him. He said, yeah, 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 but do the course and you ask him yourself. I was like, fuck, okay, cool. And uh, Geert was, can I call you back? For what? Yeah, for, the, for the, the details of the course. I'll call you back tomorrow. I, so, I was like, okay, you call me back. He called me back the next day. And he told me about it again and again. And he said, this is the price. Those are the dates. I was like, yeah, this is... I, I don't know if I want to spend that kind of money on it. It was like 750 euros. And he was like, yeah, but this is about your life, man. It's going to completely change your life. Isn't your life worth more than 750 euros? I was, yeah, I'll think about it. And he again, he was like, okay, cool. Um, can I call you back tomorrow? And I was like, okay, call me back tomorrow. So the next day the phone rang and I thought, okay, man, I don't want to do this course. What I'm going to do? I thought, I thought, I'm just going to say, I'm going to make up the stories. We'll say, I don't have the money or I'll, I'll make up something. So Geert was like, did you decide anything yet? And I was like, yeah, Geert, it sounds really interesting and you're a wonderful guy, but I don't, I don't have the money to do the course. And uh, see, the thing is I bought stocks, which I did. And I said they recently had uh, like a major fallback and I lost 6,000 euros. And he was like, I'm sorry to hear that. And this course is meant for such things so what meant for what yeah that those things won't happen to you again i was like what you're gonna change my reality <laughs> of course it's gonna change my reality and he was like yeah those things like they won't be that frequent in your life anymore this, this, this course is this designed to overcome those things it's to transform you and anyway if such things would happen to you so that you can deal with it appropriately and like it won't affect you that much and i was like what is he saying so i was like okay here and he's he again he said i'll call you back tomorrow a last time and then you just decide and it won't bother you anymore i was okay and i put down my phone and i was a bit annoyed that he, he kept harassing me <laughs> and i thought like i should should i have lied to him about the stocks but anyway, I th and then I thought, how are my stocks doing anyway? So I went on the internet and I kid you not, the moment I made up the lie to Geert that I lost 6,000 euros, that moment my stocks dropped 
6,000 euros. I thought, what is going on here, man? Like, I didn't know, know that. And shit, I lost that money. And exactly what I, what I said to Geert. And when I wanted to have a break, all of a sudden, all my clients started calling that they didn't want my service anymore. And then I wanted the laptop and Geert comes up. And then I wanted to meet this guy and Geert tells me about this guy. I thought, what is this? there might be something more going on here than I can comprehend. So the next day Geert called me and he said like, uh, did you decide yet? And I said, uh, well, here, there's been a major shift and I like to do the course. And I promise you, if I find the money, then I'm in. I said, that's a, that's, that's a commitment, man. That's a great deal. Have a beautiful evening. And I threw it on my phone. I was a bit annoyed. I threw it on my phone. And on my night cabin, there was a, a book. So I threw it on my phone and I knocked off the book. The book fell open. Opened. And there was 750 euros in cash in there. Now I knew I put some money in there, but not that amount. I took a picture of the 750 euros, sent it to Geert with a message, I'm in. And that's how my journey started. That's when I uh, uh, enrolled for the Master One. It was called Master One back then, Conscious Living, number one. That's how my story started. And uh, I never looked back. It's been amazing ever since. And I've done so many. I've done all the courses, all the retreats, and I've done so many things with creative consciousness. And uh, Mark became a dear friend and a wonderful guru to me. Thanks for your time and listening to my story. Have a beautiful day. Namaste. <laughs>